This is the book of 1 Peter, chapter 4, verse 1. For as much then as Hamashiach has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourself likewise with the same mind. For he that hath suffered in the flesh hath ceased from sin, that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men, but to the will of Yahweh. For the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles when he walked in lasciviousness, lusts, excess of wine, revelings, banquetings, and abominable idolatries, wherein they think it strange that ye run not with them to the same excess of riot, speaking evil of you. Who shall give account to him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead? For for this cause was the gospel preached also to them that are dead. That they might be judged according to men in the flesh, but live according to Yahweh in the spirit. But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. I want to start off by giving Barakat the Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kakudash, Kol Layim La Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kakudash, the Wade, La Banawa Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught us this truth and who do rule well. I also want to say peace, blessings, and salutations to the sincere Akim pushing this word throughout the four corners of the earth in truth and giving all diligence to ensure their calling of election. Okay. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to entitle this lesson, but ultimately what I wanted to go into is having a, a strong mind. Okay. Guarding your mind. Okay protecting your mind okay staying firm and standing firm in this in this truth of ours man because you know as scripture has said man okay your adversary the devil you know as a roaring lion roameth about seeking who, whom he may devour man you know these these wicked spirits okay all right starting with spiritual demon satan all right are are have a hit out on us man and we got to do our best, okay, pursuant to uh, Ephesians 6, putting on the whole armor of Yahweh by Shem Shai that we may be able to withstand the wiles of the devil. That may, we may be able to be protected and guarded, okay, specifically in the times to come where we need it more than ever, man. Because ultimately, there's no way out without the protection and the mercy, all right? And being found without guile in the eyes of Yahweh by Shem Shai, man. You know? So I wanted to start with that because in the end of verse 1, it says, uh, or in the middle, it says, Arm yourself likewise with the same mind, right? As Hamashiach, you know? This is, you know, conforming to this word as, as Yahweh Shai Mashiach lived it, you know, and, and applying these things to our life, okay? Is what we're supposed to be doing, man. It keeps us in the right state of mind, Okay? It keeps us sane, knowing the things that we know and, and, and viewing the things, okay, for what they are in the world, okay? <coughs> but, you know, ultimately, man, not losing our hope, man. You know, we, we refer to ourselves as the hopeful 144,000, the hopeful elect, man. We, we strive to be a part of that number, right? But we got to make sure not to lose sight of all the things required of us until we, um, you know, get the yay or nay, so to speak. Okay. Some of us will have to be martyrs. Some of us, you know, may only be one third. Some of us may end up being two thirds. We don't know. And it's a scary thought to know that, you know, it's all in the hand of the creator, man. Okay. So we have to be striving and doing the best that we can. Okay. While it is day because the night cometh where no man can work, right? All right. Going to our next scripture. This is the book of Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus 14 and 2. It says, Blessed is he whose conscience hath not condemned him and who is not fallen from his hope in the Lord. All right. So blessed is he who con whose conscience... Has not condemned him, you know, because, you know, Satan will try to plant little, little uh, thoughts of doubt, okay, little wicked thoughts, little, little, uh, 
you know, damn, well, what if I'm wrong? What, well, well, what if they're not right? What if the apostles are wrong? You know, these little thoughts and, and things like that, they'll, you know, Satan and these wicked spirits try to put in your mind, man. Okay? It's like when you see those cartoons like Tom and Jerry, okay? You know, Tom, will, oh, 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 he'll, uh, you know, have options before him with whatever the case is, and, and the angel will come on his right shoulder, okay? As well as, you know, what they portray to be a, a, a devil, but, you know, a, a wicked spirit on his left shoulder, okay, whispering negative things in his ear and then positive things in the right ear, you know. You got to understand, like I made mention of yesterday, I believe, our flesh is our biggest enemy, man, you know. So we got to make sure to bring it into subjection, like like uh, 1 Corinthians 9, I believe, like the, the second to last verse or the last verse says. All right. Let's just grab it real quick just so I can, uh, you know, flow properly, so to speak. 1 Corinthians 9 and um, 27, it says, but I keep my under my body and bring it into subjection. Lest that by any means when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. That goes into examining yourself as well. Uh, you know, constantly, daily, multiple times during the day. All, you know, like at all times pretty much. You know? At all times essentially, you know? All right? So, hey, like the scripture said, blessed is he, all right, whose conscience had not condemned him and who has not fallen from his hope in the Lord, right? We... We have to remain hopeful. We have to remain faithful. All right. We have to continue on with the works and ministering uh, uh, to to the Akim as well as the lost sheep. All right. Continue on doing our job and, and fulfilling our our lot, man. We have to stand in our lot. All right. We have to take into account all things that were written aforetime, right? All right. Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime, all right, were written for our learning, all right, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope, all right? And I have this definition of hope right here. It says a feeling of expectation and desire for a certain thing to happen and we you know we we talk about it all the time we want righteousness to be restored man we want to be made powers man we want to inherit the glory all right right now on this side that's not we're not getting that we're not getting that from the creator you know righteousness is is not uh uh, uh is frowned upon on this side man Righteousness is not esteemed high on this side, man. And inherently, you know, when we found out about this thing, we were like, man, that makes so much sense. I've, I've always felt like that. That's true, man. You know, but this nation, okay, this wicked kingdom, this wicked world really just tries to shame you about feeling certain types of way, which the Heavenly Father deems righteous, correct, okay, and feeling a certain type of way. About whatever the case may be, homosexuality, adultery, all right. But those things are esteemed acceptable and 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 put on a pedestal here in the world, man. The second definition says a feeling of trust and right. The heavenly Father being our refuge, okay, our place of rest, our place of comfort. Like the scripture said, all right. Whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, okay. Our learning. That we through patience, okay, and comfort of the scriptures might have hope, man. This is our, you know, Yahweh Shem Yahshai is our pillar of rest, man. And we have to, we have to, even in the most uncomfortable times here in this flesh, we have to remain, uh, 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 we have to, we have to keep comfort in, in knowing those things, man. And we have to remain hopeful, hopeful, right? Like it says, all right? <clears throat> This is uh, Proverbs chapter uh, 25 and verse 28. It says, he that hath no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without, without walls, you know, ready for, ready for whoever to come and pillage it, to come and rob and be a thief. All right. 
you opening yourself up to these different spirits, these different uh, entities, all right, is a no-no, man. All right? We have to be fully, okay, um, uh, 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 protected, okay? We, we You have to put on the whole armor, man. That's what it boils down to, putting on the whole armor. Because, you know, you open yourself up to, to different things that you don't want, want coming inside of your city, man. Inside of your spirit, inside of your house, inside of your home, okay? Those all being references, okay, or metaphors rather for your mind and your, and your body, man. You know? And understanding that, you know, finding comfort in the things that were written aforetime, man, because... Okay, we look at the different accounts, all right, and we know, you know, that it's, we, we, you know, really right now in this time of age or in in this day of age, however the saying goes, you know, we have it made, we we, we have it easy, man. I don't want to say we have it made, but we have it easy compared to uh, 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 men of the Lord in the scriptures, compared to the prophets of old, all right? This is, um... 1 Corinthians 10 and uh, 13. All right? It says, There has no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. Okay? So how strong are you, man? I, you know, and I always say this quote, but it's, it's a fire quote, man. It's a fire worldly quote. You know, the same boiling water that hardens the, the egg softens the potato. It's not about your circumstances, it's about what you're made of, man. So, you know, what are you made of when it's all said and done? What manner of persons are, are you not only right now when shit ain't really even popped off yet, but in the in the time to come, man, because we're not going to have these digital epistles, man. So you got to soak it in all right now or soak it all in right now. You know, we're not going to have these these, you know, the acum to to, you know, quote, you know, just a uh, term of term of phrase holding our hand. OK. Yo, the seriousness of the times that we're coming into, man, you know, it's it's not the time to fuck around, man. It's not the time to let your guard down. It's not the time to open yourself up. It's it's time to fully build that that impenetrable all right, fortress and guard yourself, man. Protect yourself. Because these these demons, these wicked spirits, okay, these 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 wicked people are about to be up man it's, the wickedness is about to be at an all-time high you know okay so there has no temptation taking you but such is common to man but Yahweh is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it all right You know, and and find comfort in these things. Like I said, man, soak it all up. Because the days are indeed evil. Let's see if we can grab that real quick. Redeeming the time. Okay, Ephesians 5 and uh, 15. It says, see then that ye walk circumspectly. All right. Not as fools, but as wise. Redeeming the time. Because the days are evil, right? Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is, okay? So redeem the time. Soak it all in while we can, man. Build up that fortress brick by brick, stone by stone, okay? While we can. Okay? Because, hey, like it says, man, the days are evil, right? And this is the last precept I have, um... Second Timothy one and seven. All right, for Yahweh Hashem Yahshai had not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Okay, yo, you know when something is sound, you know you imagine a contractor walking into a house, you know, or an, an uh, what's they call it, an appraiser, somebody who appraises a house, you know, gives you an estimate how much you should sell it for, you know. Oh, this is a sound house. These are sound floors. This is a sound wall. This is a this is a very nice house. And I believe it could go on the market for however much money. And you like, man, that's far beyond what I expected. Well, it's sound, man. It's it's pristine. 
And that's the type of condition we got to keep ourselves in mentally, spiritually, emotionally, okay, for the times to come, man. Again, for Yahweh Hashem Yahushai had not given us the spirit of fear, all right? Fear Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Don't fear uh, 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 all the other things that this world has, has to, uh, you know, as a scare tactic, so to speak, as a test from the Heavenly Father. Because like the scripture says, man, there is one wise and greatly to be feared. And that's Yahweh Bashim Yahushai who sitteth upon his throne. You know? But he has given us what? Power, love, and a sound mind, man. So stay girded, okay? Step it up. Let's go, Akim. All right, I want to end it off by giving all praise, all honor, and all glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Akakudash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught us his truth and who do rule well. And I want to say peace, blessings, and salutations to the sincere Akim pushing his word throughout the four corners of the earth, giving all diligence to ensure their calling of election. Lord willing, this was edifying and exhorting and uplifting man through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai. Until next time, I say Shalom.